Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi here, the Crypto Pi, and today I just want to give you guys a quick update on Bitcoin. And uh, you know, Bitcoin just tells you what the whole market will do. So all we have to do is look at Bitcoin. This will be a small video, but just a heads up on you know what I expect to see in the market before we go back up. All right. So if we look at the daily, it's trying to reset here, stochastic R side, like I was talking about in my longer video last night. Um, so the three day is also trying to reset here and also the weekly all right don't look as far as monthly guys you know we've been we've been up top here for a while okay at some point this will reset but I don't think the time is now um, so three days looking good one day is looking primed as well 12 hour already went through but what you get in the markets is that it needs to test support so we will need to test support once again so um i want to see something like this happen right i want to see something like this with a higher low and then try to break this resistance and if we break it we are good to go that is just how i see it guys um so that is just looking at the 12 hour here um so yeah we obviously went already up but the six hour you can see we went up and now it's trying to just go back down to put that second bottom in. It's very healthy if we see just one down day to like about the 10k and test that support here or even here right for a wick like as long as it's a higher low we're good. If it's a lower low um, you have to watch out. So uh, then we could potentially go one further back and that is over here at 8.6 around the 8k line here which coincides with the support level of this one right between here uh two lines so yeah um that's what i what i see guys um where is the biggest trend line all right the real doomsayer here he want me to be a real doomsayer i can be um we can also take two points here and uh, you can see we can all go come all the way down to 5k okay that's another trend line that could potentially be hit but um, I don't think we need to go there we tested that before then we went up we never tested again however we came from there so uh, from that line so uh, I don't think we need to test that necessarily but I do think we need to put in a double bottom uh, that would be very healthy now if the market is super bullish and retracts immediately back up that's also a possibility but I don't see it happening right now I see us going down for the night uh, the European night it's 11 p.m. here right now and uh, you know you if you're European you will most likely sleep through it if you're American you might witness it um, as for Asia uh, probably when Asia wakes up they will buy it back up right since um, that's what Asia usually does is they either are bullish or they're bearish well you can see today they were bullish um, they bought us back up here so um, together with it well the whole market is back bullish okay so but we're not out of the woods yet we need to clear this downtrend line like I stated in my previous video so just look forward to that guys also if you look at the one hour I put that trend line and uh, we broke it for now so I see just a healthy double bottom occurring and uh, if you don't know what a double bottom is yet guys you know check out my video in my trading series in my um, crypto trading basics about double bottoms and double tops they uh, tell you a real reversal now obviously this was a reversal candle right here but there's also reversal formations such as double bottoms and uh, reversal formations at the top such as double tops so you can see that we had a double top here right we had a top second top a lower top that's why on the double bottom what you want to see and it's on the lower time frame you want to see a double bottom a lower one and then uh, one that is higher a higher low and then uh, we're good so that's what I'm you know looking for don't panic guys it's just gonna be a little dip for now I don't see it dipping a whole lot okay um, it could however that only all right so the only time that is confirmed that it goes lower is if it makes a lower low than this right? and even then it's not always the case it can also be massive panic 
and uh, people just buy it right back up. So always wait for the the candlestick to be done, um, and I prefer to do it on at least a four hour level. Um, so look at that four hour or six hour level. Don't just base it on a one hour candlestick, even though over here you'd be right, but you're not always right with that. The higher the time frame, the more reliable. So yeah, guys, just look forward to that. Also, if you're not in my uh, Telegram group yet, join up with the CryptoPies blog where we talk among each other. We talk about cryptos, we talk about ICOs. Um, yeah, and uh, you can ask any questions to me or anyone else in there, and I'm sure everyone will help you out. Also, join up with the CryptoPies feed. This is where I post all my videos, like I was talking about in this video. Um, you know, are the bulls back? That was my last video, and uh, you know, I talked about the market in general, and uh, I talked about ICOs, so post my videos, and also heads up on ICOs. For example, guys, if you're not in ARK block yet, you need to whitelist as soon as possible. It's gonna close, and if you're not in the whitelisting, you cannot participate in the ICO. So, yeah, guys, join it with the CryptoPies block, join it with the CryptoPies feed. Both links will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.